Hello, today I just want to quickly show you a feature that I've known about for a while but never got around to actually using. It's with converting STLs to solid bodies. So I'm just going to upload an STL that I've been working on. Let me just drag it over, upload it real quick. So once it uploads, I'm just going to open it up and you see it looks hideous and it's impossible to edit. I can't even select a face and it's shown up as a mesh body. So I'm going to convert this into a nice solid body just like you'd make in from scratch in Fusion 360. So the first thing I want to do make sure my document settings are correct. They're in millimeters. Perfect. Then I'm going to capture design history, go up to mesh. And in order to make this work properly, I want to combine all of the different surfaces into different groups. So I'm going to generate face groups, which will automatically generate the groups. You can use accurate since I'm going to be reverse engineering this model. Press OK. And after a couple minutes, depending on your computer speed, it will process. So it just finished processing. And as you can see, it looks no different. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to display settings and then mesh display and enable face groups. And now you can see all the different face groups that it's generated. This will make what our next step is a lot easier and more efficient, which is actually converting the mesh to a solid body. So I'm going to go to modify, convert mesh, click on the body, and then I'm going to use parametric and my model type is prismatic and just click OK and then wait a couple more minutes for our body to generate. This is the magic step. This will make everything look perfect. As you can see, this looks like a model that you just modeled up in Fusion, just like a step file that you would import into Fusion. It obviously doesn't have any history, but there's other ways to get history back. So yeah, now if I want to modify the model, I want to change this so it's not inset, so I have a flat surface to 3D print it on. Create a sketch here and put a box around it and then extrude downward. Let me make sure it's selecting everything. I'm going to have to hide this sketch. Here we go. Perfect. And now these should be attached. It doesn't look like they're attached because there's the line here, but that will work great. So now I have my flat surface and I've done everything I've wanted to do with this model. So I thought that would be a quick, cool tutorial to show you. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.